Michael Bloom, chiropractor. Thanks for watching today. What I want to cover is how to actually carry a bag effectively for your posture. So there are two types of bags I'm going to cover. There is the typical bag that has a strap that can either go on the shoulder across the body and then there's a backpack. And there's, it's, it's pretty simple this, but it's, it's still important to talk about because a lot of people are walking a long distance carrying a bag and in many cases the bags are really heavy so it is really important that you actually get this into the best possible setup for yourselves uh, to, to avoid injury and to make yourself less, less likely to have bag related issues. So the first of all is the bag with a strap and I'm actually carrying it in an incorrect manner to start with. So what's incorrect about this is it's pulling all my weight onto one shoulder. There's a likelihood that I would end up raising the shoulder as I kept going and started to fatigue a little bit. It's just creating a whole lot of potential issues through this side of my neck and my shoulder. So when you have a bag such as this, it definitely needs to go across your body so that the strap comes across the front and you're carrying some of it on here and, and, and the distribution of the weight is more equal across both sides of your body. And then also, there's more weight on my right shoulder, there's no doubting that. So it is important that you swap from side to side. You know, if you're doing this every day, I would suggest one day it's on one side, the next day it's on the other side. But always wear the options there, carry a bag that has a, a, a strap like this across your body, not on one shoulder. The second bag to talk about is a backpack. And again, same message applies. Don't carry a backpack on one shoulder for the same reasons I just explained, because it'll put all your weight through one shoulder and you'll start to hitch up that shoulder. It's just, it's just not what it's designed for. There's a reason why a backpack has two straps and it's because we have two shoulders. So put it around one shoulder, around the other shoulder as well. And then importantly with a backpack is use the cords to pull the arm, to pull the arm adjustments as tight as you possibly can on both sides so that your backpack is actually hugged in close to your back. So it's not hanging off backwards, which is pulling you backwards. So you want, it, you want it as snug as you can around your shoulders. The other thing with regard packing a backpack is when you are packing the backpack, please put the heaviest items at the bottom of the backpack, put them at the bottom closest to your body and then stack the lighter ones above. That is a far more ergonomic way to distribute the weight within the backpack rather than heavy at the top, which again will be pulling on your shoulders and pulling you backwards. We're stronger around our waist than we are around our shoulders, so the heavier object should be closer to the bottom. And finally, the weight of a backpack, it shouldn't be any more than ideally one tenth of your body weight. So if you weigh approximately 75 kilos, a backpack on a daily, on a daily carry, it shouldn't be above seven and a half kilograms. So it's not, it's not actually that heavy, seven and a half kilograms. So you may be overloading. So look what's inside your backpack as well and determine if you need every single item that's in there or whether there are some that are there. Just out of habit, that you don't really need to carry with you. Hope you found this useful and, um, and when you're carrying objects in the future, I hope that the tips I've passed on to you today will just help you so that you are, are far less likely to have nagging issues as a result of carrying your bags. Cheers.